Hello YouTube and welcome back to my playthrough of GTA Vice City. On today's part, we're going to be doing Ricardo Diaz's mission, so let's go meet this guy. And this guy's one of the most an annoying GTA characters of all time. The Chase. Come on, baby, come on! Yeah! Yeah! Don't be hard! I'll chop your head off! Who is this dickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me. I'm a little anxious. I think a little more than anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse. You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, <laughs> amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for Shut up. Money. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is going to be easy. <laughs> I just love Tommy's dialogue there. So Diaz hasn't really changed from Vice City stories. Um, I mean, his first appearance was Vice City, but, you know, they still kept his... um. They kept his character in Vice City stories. He got even actually a little bit more aggressive in Vice City, but... But also, um, uh, Diaz's bodyguards, those two guys that stand next to him, remember, at the door, make sure you remember those two guys, because they're gonna be kind of important. They also appeared on the, um, party mission. You know what I thought was also kind of funny when when Diaz says you work for me now and Tommy's like I work for money. At least he's being honest. Oh shit. So this guy's basically a drug dealer that's like um cuz these drug lords will have these drug dealers on the streets um just you know selling their um uh, selling their drugs and so this guy's um uh, not cutting in Diaz on like he's stealing 3% of the profits, and so Diaz wants him dead. Too slow, Grandad. You better keep on running, asshole. <laughs> you better keep on running. And also, these guys, they're a gang. You know who these guys are? These guys are the sharks. Now you um uh for people that watch my Vice City play Vice City stories playthrough but you didn't watch my uh Vi but you didn't play Vice City or know what happens in Vice City you're probably thinking the sharks these guys look nothing like the sharks um that's because in Vice City stories the uh the sharks they wore nicer clothing um they drove more expensive cars those SUVs the reason that they, the the sharks are like greasers in this game and they're kind of like poor is because they collapsed this is basically the remnants of the sharks um, uh, Vic Vance pretty much wiped them out in Vice City Stories because he took over all of their businesses. We did that also on the side, as a side thing on, on my playthrough. And so when the Sharks lost all of their businesses, they lost their money, um, uh, they became kind of like greasers, um, in a way. They drive like broken down vans with graffiti on them in this game, but in, um, uh, in Vice City Stories they drove like SUVs. And this is a little annoying here, they pop my tire. So this mission, just don't get too close to the guy here. Just follow him at a distance like this. It is a bit annoying because he just keeps shooting at you right there. Yeah, just don't get really close to him. Ah. Now this place, a lot of you guys are going to be shocked by this place now, where their, um, uh, their hideout is. Look at this place. 
Recognize these buildings? Mendes Cartel's house. All of the houses here on this block are now abandoned. All of them. Uh, and they're controlled by the sharks. So the houses are just broken down, they're full of graffiti. The sharks have really moved in. What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 <laughs> Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? It's funny how he says mafia, but he doesn't even realize that Tommy is mafia. What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. I can take Diaz. No, you Listen can't, Lance. Me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. So you see, Lance and Tommy are starting to suspect that Diaz is the one who ambushed the deal and killed Vic and stole the drugs and the cash. What's here we go, the me? M60. What's with I don't know. I always kind of liked it. Quentin Van. Hey, I got enough of that at school. Lance, Lance, poor bastard. Where the hell are we headed, anyway? Prawn Island. You ever buy one of those from a whirly? No, I'll get a bit of practice on the way, though. Notice how the characters were both yelling okay. because they were in hell. They're in a helicopter. I like that attention to detail. This is gonna be good now, the shark's base. The Mendez Cartel's mansion. This is the remnants of the sharks now. And the Mendez house. Great, more. Okay, so now let's go and collect the money. Man, the sharks have really trashed these mansions. They really have. These mansions were nice like two years ago. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a bit difficult aiming on console. Console, it's harder to aim with these, um, guns. You want a piece of this? You think I was scared of using this? You'd think that the sharks would at least take this place over and, you know, make it nice, but no, they in, in just two years' time, they, they completely trashed this place. They could have made this a really strong gang, much stronger, nicer gang fortress. And I like how they, um... What I like about this is, um... I like how they kept that lore in Vice City stories that Lance knows how to fly a helicopter, that Lance has a pilot's license, that he knows how to fly a helicopter. So they kept that in Vice City stories, um, Lance flying the helicopter. And they have that, um, storm over. All bridges to the mainland are now open. So basically, the, the hurricane has passed, it hasn't hit Vice City. All the bridges are now open. You know those charities he runs? The fastest boat. That's so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, what were you waving at thing? No more pigeon shit on my car, hey, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> You're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream, a faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah! pigeons are back. Go to the boat, you're at the docks, and steal the fastest boat. Okay, let's go and get that then. So now this is gonna be the fastest boat in the game. It's that same speedboat that we drove in um uh in Vice City uh in Vice City stories. Now we're on the second island. The bridges have now been opened. We can now cross here. Now here's a little bit of a tip. When you're doing this mission, there's health, uh, there's health right there, armor right here, and then there's also a gun, um, right here. So you got a submachine gun, full armor, um, full health. So you can use that, so if you don't have that, um, uh, you know, if you don't have that stuff ready, you can get that for this mission. This mission can be a little annoying at the start. Like, once you get the boat, it's easy, but at the start, it can get a little, a little annoying. Find a switch to lower the boat. Okay. Let's get that boat down then. Uh. Well, used up what we had left of the um, M60. Oh no, crap. I forgot that they that they try to box you in. Yeah, so see there's just a lot of enemies to kill. And like whenever I walk near the water in this game, I'm scared. Like you have a wanted level three stars, but it's almost nothing. It's just so easy to get back to Diaz's um house. It's just a straight drive. But 
Um, I'm always so scared getting near the water whenever I play this game, and that's because of um, uh, t the instant Tommy touches water, he instantly dies. Vic knows how to swim in Vice City stories, but Tommy, the second he touches water, he just instantly dies. And that's why I'm so scared to get into boats in this game. So I'm scared I'm going to make a mistake. I'm not going to jump the right way, and I'm going to fall right in the water, and it's going to fail. Um, if they ever do a Vice City remake, like... Oh, getting a call? Who's calling? Tommy, it's me, Colonel Corte. Look, senor, I believe you are a man who can get things done. So please help me. You can find me at the boat, huh? We'll do Colonel Cortez's and Avery's final missions on another part. On this part, I just want to focus on Diaz's missions. Supply and demand. Eject! Plastic! Crap! You're doing this to me?! Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Oh. Oh. Bro, you! It is my favorite El Budo movie. It's died. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? <laughs> Damn. Idiot. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month. A freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here. Okay? This guy is so annoying. You can't have a, a rational conversation with Diaz without him, like, yelling or just being annoying. Um, and the thing is, like... Notice how, like, Tommy does not care at all. Like, Tommy says to Diaz, Diaz says, you work for me now, and Tommy says, I work for money. And then, like, Diaz, um, uh, uh Diaz says it, it, um, uh, it ain't my favorite movie, and then Tommy says it's not plugged in, knowing that Diaz could very well shoot him because he gets angry. Tommy just doesn't care. And that's just what I love about Tommy. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now, you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap, but I know one day I'm going to save your ass, and you're probably going to want to kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> <laughs> we got some competition. That you interview? No, no, I can hardly read. Get on with it. So, Tommy, we know what Diaz busted our deal, so why in the hell are we running errands for him? The more we learn now, the less we have to learn when we take this town over. I like your style, man. Real friends. It's time for the man, man, man. So these guys, um, uh, basically different gangs are trying to get over to this, um, freelancer who he's, um, he's bringing in some kind of expensive cargo, most likely drugs in the Vice City, and he's gonna sell it to whoever, um, uh, gets to him first. Watch yourself! They're coming from all over! This mission can actually be a bit annoying because of all the shaking with the boat and you're getting shot. Now I think this part, there's going to be gun gunmen up ahead on the jetty, as Lance says. There are gunmen on that jetty! Up, okay. Oh, great. I do like the Kruger. The Kruger is probably my favorite rifle in this game. It's the Mini-14, and I like it better than the M4, like I said, because it just doesn't have that much recoil. More up ahead. Wow, we lost more than half our health. We gotta be careful. You want some of this?
There we go, he did it. Good shooting, my friend. You're a real proper grade A lunatic. Well, thank you. <laughs> See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. I like how Lance just scrapes the boat when he makes that turn. Like, he just... He, that's what I always thought funny about that cutscene. He just, like, scrapes the boat on the side of the... Damn. That was... That was just, um... Uh, that was funny. But, um... Uh, I'll say about, um... Uh... About Lance... Lance is actually one of the few older voice actors from the GTA uh, games. I'm trying to remember who voices Lance, but I'm pretty sure it's the guy that played in Miami Vice that um, uh, voices Lance. But the, anyways, the point that I'm making is that Lance is like one of the few, like, um, uh, the guy who plays Lance is one of the few, like, voice actors that, the older voice actors that don't have a problem with Rockstar, because almost all of the older voice actors have some kind of problem with Rockstar. Even Ray Liotta, the guy who plays as Tommy Versetti, has a problem with Rockstar, but, um, the, uh, guy came back, uh, that played Lance in two games, um, uh, he came back in, um, uh, Vice City Stories. So, um, I'm assuming, you know, he doesn't have much of a problem with Rockstar as the other, um, uh, as some of the other voice actors, but you know, he does do a good job with his performance, definitely. Oh, we got a phone call here. Yo, Tommy, it's Lance. Yeah. Oh, nice to hear from you, Lance. Come on, man, be cool, be cool. I'm in the middle of something. What do you want? Nothing. Just to say, you know, look, Tommy, we can do this thing. You and me, no problem. You know what I mean. We're going to have to do it, because otherwise we're going to be dead, Lance. We're in too far now. But thanks for the call. Speak to you later. He's talking about um uh about them taking out Diaz because they're starting to realize that Diaz is the one who um uh who who ambushed their deal um. Okay, the guy's name is Philip Michael Thomas. Um, uh, that's the guy who voices Lance. Um, uh, he plays in Miami Vice, I know that. That's where Rockstar... Rockstar's a fan of, like, these older, like, crime movies and TV shows and stuff. And so they, um, uh, you know, they have a lot of inspiration. And they're like... The Vice City is almost entirely based on Scarface and Miami Vice. Mostly on Scarface. A little bit on Miami Vice, but mostly on Scarface. I saw Scarface, but I didn't really watch Miami Vice. I should get around to watching it one day. Um, but, um, yeah, so the guy from Miami Vice plays Lance. So I guess we'll wrap it up here, guys. So, um, uh, thank you guys for watching this. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.